Olympian representing Team USA, Master Stephen Landon. Sir, take it away, please. There we go. Hey, gang. Uh, first of all, thanks for the awesome introduction. I, I'd like to pay to have you fly around with me and just hype me up before matches. Got me feeling good. Uh, that being said, so in this 10 minutes, we're actually going to keep it really simple today um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, obviously, we've got a wide range here. Like, we've got some white belts. We've got some world-class athletes. So that way we can a little bit cater to everybody. But more importantly, actually, is we're going to focus on fundamentals because it doesn't matter if you have an awesome 360 to the face, fall out of the clinch, I score five points in this one weird situation. You don't have a good roundhouse kick. It doesn't matter what the rest of it is, right? Because we have to win the basic matches before we can get to that final, before we can get to the finals at World Championship, right? Like you've got to, you've got to win the U.S. Open first. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for those of you that are new, we'll walk through this one real quick. Uh, we're going to work roundhouse kick first. So we're going to break it down into three parts. First, we're going to go knee up. Second, knee over. Third, extend. Out. Very simple. It is just that simple, but to do it world class is where it gets a little bit trickier. So let's go ahead and walk through it quickly, please. Knee up, turn over, roundhouse kick. And I'm actually going to make sure I start my timer so that way I don't run over. One more time, please. Knee up, turn over, extend. Nice and simple. Right leg, we started left, let's start right leg now. Knee up, turn over, extend. Two more. Knee up, turn over, extend. Last one for you. Knee up, turn over, extend. Now we're gonna to start to make it a little bit more dynamic. So we're gonna get in our fighting stance, we're gonna go left leg back first. We're gonna make sure we have our hands up. Couple of things we're going to focus on. We're going to stay tall. I don't want to see this. We, we all fight those tall people that throw cut takes, so we're no longer down here. We're good and tall, and we're keeping our core nice and braced. On my count, first three, nice and smooth, a little bit easy. We're going to build an intensity. So get set, no bouncing just yet. Get set, one. Nice, nice and easy. This one a little bit more intense. Get set. Two. Last easy one. Ready? Three. There we go. Now these next three, a little more intense. This is a match, right? We've got to win the Olympics or win nationals, win regionals, win that local tournament, whatever it is. We got to win that before we get to the show, right? So now we're bouncing. A little bit more intense on my count. Ready? One. Reset. Hands up. Two. Reset. Last one, best one. This is the Go World Championships. You have to score this. Ready? Three. There we go. Nice. Switch stance. We're going to go right leg first. Ready? One. Nice and easy. A little bit more intense. Two. There you go. Reset. Last one. Making sure we got the technique down nice and smooth. Ready? Three. This is a match. We gotta win. We have to score. Ready? One. Reset. Two. Reset. Last one, best one, as we said. Get set. Three. There you go. Nice work, guys. What I want you to make sure and focus on on those roundhouse kicks is when you take off, the work isn't done. You're basically Still needs to be driving into that kick. So that was the most basic version. And theoretically, we were lifting. Uh, we just went through like an air squat. So no weight. Now we're going to start to add a little bit of a load to it. How do we add a load to our kicks? Gonna put on a big heavy weight vest? No. We're going to add just a little bit of movement beforehand. So that way we have to decelerate and then explode into our kick. All right. So for this first one, what we're going to do, we're going to close the distance. I want you to imagine I'm too far away to hit this person. I can't reach him. I have to move before I can kick. So we're going to get set. We're going to slide forward. Then we're going to follow with a roundhouse bit. What you want to focus on here is, notice, my feet don't come together. My feet stay apart, closed, 
roundhouse kick. We keep our feet apart so that way, no matter what, I can stop and kick. So, three easy ones, three a lot harder. Okay? Get set, ready. One. There you go. Make sure you get the motion, feet move at the same time. Ready. Two. There you go. Nice and easy. One more easy one. Then we're going to take up the intensity. Three. There you go. Now with three intense ones. We've got the pattern down. Now we're going to rock. Ready. Four. There you go. Reset. Get set. Arms. Five. Last one, best one. Get set. Six. There you go. Switch legs. We're going to go right leg now. Remember, first three, make sure you've got it down right. Get set. One. Reset. Two. Reset. Last easy one. Make sure you've really got the technique down. That's the most important thing. Three. There you go. Now we're in the intense one. So we want to raise the intensity here. Ready? One. Reset. Two. Last one, best one, right? Make sure we've got our hands. This is a match. It has to be real in your mind if you want it to come out during the rain. Ready? Three. Nice work, guys. So, if moving like that is adding a load theoretically, we're going to make it a little bit harder. So, for that one, we slid in, we got close to them, then we kicked them. This one, we're going to slide back and then kick them. So, we're going to get out of the way of their kick. It doesn't matter if it's a cut kick, whatever. We're going to get out of the way of it, then we're going to tag them. A couple of things we're going to focus on here, though. When I move back, first of all, I don't go up, right? You're not going to chop your head off on the camera like I am. None of that. We're going to move fast and to where we're trying to go. So quick into the ground so we can explode out. It doesn't matter if you have the world's greatest roundhouse kick if the movement beforehand is terrible. Because if we're fighting and I do this roundhouse kick, all you have to do is kick my move. We're not going to be that guy. So, We'll get set, we'll go right leg in front first, and we're kicking left. Same fundamentals for roundhouse kick. Staying tall, keep our four nice and tight, right? So we're gonna get set, first three, nice and easy. Ready, one. Reset, two. Yep, there we go. Last easy one, three. Nice, a little more intense now, really. Get into the ground, right? The more force you can put into the ground, the harder you're going to be able to take off into that kick. None of this. We're elite level athletes now, so move as fast as we can. Ready? One. There you go. Get set. Two. Last one, best one. Three. There you go. Switch stance. We're going to go right leg now. Nice and easy for the first three. Ready? One. Make sure we're getting into the ground and then changing directions. Set. Two. Last easy one, and it's going to get harder. Ready. Three. All right. Super intense. If you want to win an Olympic gold medal, starts right here. Ready. One. Reset. Two. Explode into that kick. This one especially, once you get set, really take off. It's a sprint. You've got to get to the target as quick as you can. Ready. Three. There you go. Nice. We're going to do one more set. This time, we're going to put it together. The most complicated one. We're going to go roundhouse, put it down, pop back, roundhouse. We're getting warm. We've got the pattern. Straight into the intense reps. Ready? One. Reset. Two. Last one. Three. There we go. Switch 
stance. Right leg this time, please. Ready? One. Two more. We're in the match. Take off, score the point, and get out of the way. Three. Oh, that was two, I think. You know what? We're going to do one more just because I miscounted. Ready? One. And that one wasn't good enough. I don't like my standard. We have too high of a standard, right? So, uh, that wasn't a good rep. We can't finish like that. One more. Ready? One. There we go. All right. Coming to the end of my time, unfortunately. It's hot here, but on top of it, giving a lot of effort, so I'm all sweaty and ready to take a shower. That being said, guys, I want to take the opportunity not only to thank you guys for coming, but if you can't donate, that's okay. Reach out to a medical professional that you know, even if it's on Facebook, let them know that you support them. The important thing is that as a Taekwondo community, we come together in time to try, and that's what this is all about. So thank you guys very much for your time and for back to Wow. Wow, there you have it, folks. Your lesson from Mr. Olympian, Mr. Steven Landon, from his garage into your home. What an amazing opportunity we have here, right? Uh, sir, thank you for those amazing 